This is so funny. Hi, everybody. Um, well, disaster struck on my uh, live video for my little art show today. So, um, Facebook uh, said it was recording, but it didn't record. So, if you had trouble getting in, I apologize. Um, but I thought I would just kind of breeze through some of the new pieces that um, I wanted to show. I know I'm not on schedule, and Jim um, isn't here to help me today either. <laughs> so, this is not my best effort. Um, I'm just going to start with. Um, This piece is called um, Special Sunset from Ocean Beach. Um, my sister Marianne and I were um, babysitting my son's dog, um, his little puppy, um, in San Francisco, and we were taking walks on the beach every day to, um, to keep him busy. And uh, there was this just one night when there was this magnificent sunset that just didn't end. Um, so I couldn't wait to get home and paint it. And um, this piece is an original oil painting on canvas. It's 20 inches by 20 inches. Um, the center focal point of the painting um, has a lot of kind of bold texture and light. And um, um, I really kind of shows some passionate brush strokes there. Um, I love my sunsets. And uh, I think that I'm going to have some uh, additional sunsets coming from this particular evening because I took lots of photo and photos, and um, so I've got lots of material. So this is a Pacific Coast um, sunset, and um, the price is $425, and everything um, on my website, all my original paintings are 25% off for this show, so it's like $305, something like that. Um, they do come with free shipping in the United States, and um, they do not include a frame. Um, unless you make me a special request to have a frame for you. Um, I do show some frames here just to give you an idea what what they look like, but um, everyone's got their own taste and their own home decor, so I don't include frames in my places. So this one is called Special Sunset at Ocean Beach. Um, this painting is called Greeting the Day, and you know, I'm losing some light, so I'm just going to splash a little light for a minute on this. It's getting um, to be sunset here in Arizona, uh, Colorado. I don't even know what state I live in anymore. Um, so, this is um, a lovely sunrise, actually. Um, uh, it was inspired by a photograph from my, sister, my friend, Cindy Taylor, who is an artist in um, Madison, Connecticut. She does beautiful watercolor. And uh, she shared some photos from her neighborhood walks. Um, and this particular um, photo just really kind of moved me to um, paint it. Um, it's got some kind of lovely energy and light in it. Um, um, it maybe uh, has a little bit of Reiki influence in as well. Um, I do practice Reiki, as some of my friends know, and uh, sometimes it kind of flows a little more than others, and this is one of those pieces. Um, it's a little bit more contemporary, uh, some bold brush strokes in there, and uh, I put it in this little float frame um, that's kind of like an unfinished float, um, which I kind of like. Um, I just get them from uh, off the shelf, um, but I think it looks kind of like fresh and open. Um, so this piece, again, it's... Uh, called Embrace, uh, Greeting the Day. Um, it was inspired by Sunrise, and it is 16 inches um, by 20. Um, and it was 425 on my website, um, minus 25% off for this show. Um, this piece is called Magical Evening Light. Um, I love Instagram. I think it's kind of a fun um, tool, and I follow lots of other artists on Instagram, and you're welcome to follow me, too. It's 
Peg Connery who played Art. Um, and I also follow a bunch of photographers that are inspirational. And this particular piece was inspired by a photo I saw from Nantucket. And when I saw it on the Nantucket Insider page on Instagram, I immediately sent a message and asked if it would be okay if I painted from it. So um, that's where the inspiration came from. And I just love the way these pinks and turquoises work together. And this composition um, just really kind of flowed from the heart. Um, uh, I adore these colors, this combination, and it's kind of the feeling of the tide at low tide here um, on the beach. And uh, this piece is the same size as the previous piece. It's 20 by 16, which is kind of like a medium size painting for me. Um, the price is $4.25 on their website, so $3.05, you can do the math, 25% off today. Oh, and guys, I didn't mention at the beginning because I was a little confused by my technical difficulties, but um, I do have a couple of little door prizes, and I'm going to um, choose winners from uh, those who may leave a comment at the show or let me know that you watched the show. I don't know how I'm going to do it, actually, because my technical difficulties kind of confused everything. Um, but... Uh, I will tell you that I'm giving away a calendar and a print. Okay. Okay. I'm going to jump to um, a couple of bigger pieces. I'm going to move my camera out there. Um, this piece is called Light Streaming Through. It's got kind of a contemporary vibe. Um, some heavy texture going on in the middle area in the focal point of this painting that kind of drives you into the center. Um, it's a pretty powerful piece if you see it in person. Um, I love the blues in this palette and there's a lot of movement going on here that brings you right in. Um, this is a larger uh, canvas for me and um, I've been kind of starting to work bigger and bigger um, I'm learning every day, and you know, it, it, working big has a lot of challenges. It's a whole different kind of world. Um, so it, it's very exciting. It's like jumping from a 250-piece jigsaw to a 5,000-piece jigsaw. Um, it, it has a whole different um, set of uh, rules as far as what brushes I can use and uh, how much paint I have to have in hand. And, um, what kind of easel we can handle of the canvas. So those are some of the um, reasons why it's kind of hard to paint big. So, um, but I've been really having fun trying, and I have you know some successes and some you know not such great uh, successes. So um, I'm just really happy with the two big paintings that I'm excuse me the paintings that I'm going to show you here because I feel like I'm sort of reaching this place. I'm growing in my artwork, and um, I feel like I hit the right balance between the composition and the size and the color working together um, on these big, bigger pieces. Um, so uh, Christopher Zang, my teacher in Connecticut, who is like the master painter, um, used to say that you have to have paintings up to the sky before you, you know, really did anything that was any good. And um, I've kind of gotten to that point now with these bigger pieces. So, um, so I'm pretty excited about my growth as an artist. Um, so this piece is light streaming through it's um, $7.95 on my website, and it's on sale for 25% off, if it speaks to you. another one of my larger um, sunsets. One of the things that I love about sunsets is it's kind of something that is universally loved. And, you know, there aren't that many things that we can agree on in our world today, but most people, whether they're, you know, old grandfathers or little kids, they like sunsets. And the sunsets are fun, sunsets are cheerful. Um, 
and I love them. And this particular piece kind of crossed um, with me from the East Coast to the West Coast. Um, I started this painting, it was a scene from Rhode Island, from Charlestown, um, Rhode Island, where we used to go to the beach with our kids when they were little. And um, I started this back in maybe February in my old house in Arizona, in my studio. And uh, when Jim, my husband, got his new job in Colorado, we were moving, I kind of turned my world upside down and I put this big piece aside. And then after I got back from California a couple of weeks ago, I started to work on it again because we had seen these lovely sunsets and I was inspired. So this is sort of a combination of like East Coast and my West Coast influences. Um, this piece is called Embraced by the Light and I really felt like uh, there was kind of a warm glow coming from the canvas as I was working on it. And um, it's been cold here in Colorado. So I think we all need a little warmth in the winter. Um, I just uh, love the way the colors work together in this piece. Um, my brushwork is actually kind of a little bit softer and um, more serene and peaceful um, in this painting than in some of my other work. Um, I'm going to try turning off the light just to show you. It's getting dark here, yeah. You can't really see. Um, I tried to do this little show before the sunset so I would have some natural light, but now I'm kind of relying on the, on the light in the room. Let's see. Yeah. That kind of shows you what it's like um, with a little bit less light. It can, it can handle its own. Um, that's the tricky thing about um, oil paintings. Uh, some of them can be really dark and heavy if um, there isn't enough light in the room, but this piece um, is so great and um, vibrant, and you can carry it somewhere. Um, I listed it on my website for 950, including a, a black um, flip frame because I did have it in there, so I can go either way. It's uh, 795 normally without the frame or 950 with the frame, um, and either way, it's 25% off for this sale. So starts around. You can do the math and call me if you need help. <coughs> Sorry, I need Jim to help me. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I did choose just a few floral paintings. Um, this is my newest piece. It's called Happy Flowers. Um, it's 12 inches. Oops, I'm not tipping it right. It's 12 inches by 12 inches. Um, when the pandemic gets me down, I kind of turn to grocery store flowers to cheer me up. And um, this, I'll kind of hold it up tight to the screen. This piece had Gerber daisies and this one, the iris is in it. Um, just really happy, cheerful flowers. Let's see. And this is the last um, hydrangea. I'm kind of addicted to painting hydrangeas. This is called Hydrangeas in Porch. And I'm really losing my light here, I think. It's an oil on canvas, 12 inches by 12 inches. Beautiful blues. And all of my three florals are all the same price. They're two fifty and on sale for two hundred dollars. Um, these are pretty yellow roses in kind of a pottery vase. I did do this from life. Um, bottom got a really pretty blue background. Yellow roses make me happy. Um, let's see. And um, this piece is a pretty little snowscape. There's something about um, farms. In the snow that really makes, you know, I find enchanting. 
and there's a lot of rural fam farmland around Boulder. Um, this little piece is 14 by 11, and it's called Nestled In. It's 250 on my website, um, minus 25%. And the last piece I'm going to show you is called Sparkling Lemonade. Can you see the sparkle? I did this also from, um, from Life. It was one of the first paintings that I did when I moved to Colorado. I, was, I needed to focus on something uh, cheerful. And I have been um, painting the same blue base for many years, so I'm sure some of you have seen it before, but it's one of my favorites because I just love the color. Um, I love to put still life in um, dining rooms or kitchens. Um, this is kind of a traditional gold frame with a white linen liner. Um, that's one of my favorites. This is just kind of a classic combination of yellow and blue too. Uh, this piece is on my website too, Sparkling Lemonade. And let's see, lastly, oh, I was just going to show you, um, I have a couple prints. If anyone is interested, I just happened to have a couple samples made, and so I popped this into mm -hmm. a, a really simple frame that I bought at Target. It's nothing, um, the frame is nothing too fancy, but um, it does have a place so you can uh, put it on a shelf standing up where you can hang it. And um, it's a G clay print, so you might want to frame it. Um, for, um, with higher quality, but for uh, just for shipping, it's kind of nice to get something in the mail that's ready to go. Um, so this little piece is called A Bunch of Smiling Faces. My friend Christina Adams has the original, and um, I just love the way this print um, came out. It was done by a local Boulder printer. And uh, the print is eight by eight. It's in um, a little mat. So that's uh, $59. If anybody would like this print, I can ship it to you. I just happen to have this one sample. And also, I had this print um, made from my uh, website. It's called um, Bursting with Bougainvillea, if anyone would like this one particular print that I have in hand. Um, it's matted in white, and the dimensions are 12 by 12 on the outside, and the print is 8 by 8. And that's um, $49, if anybody would like one. Um, stay tuned, I'm gonna be having a Valentine's Day seal. Um, if you wanna treat yourself to some flowers for Valentine's Day, all my prints are on sale for 30% off um, using uh, code Valentine on my website. And, let's see. Do I have one more thing? Um, and the name of my, the, I'll just say thank you. Let me turn off the light here. Thanks so much for your patience if you made it today. I'm so sorry about the technical problems. And um, mm -hmm. I will be um, happy to answer any questions. My email is conneryboydart at gmail.com. Or you can uh, use the contact page on my website. My website is www.conneryboydgallery.com. I hope you have um, a great night, everybody. Thanks so much for watching.
Let's see if I can shut this off now. Oops.